All right, Maniacs, today we are going to be checking out the new Sam and Colby investigation. This is the most haunted mansion in New York, a murder mystery. I don't know anything about this location. I did see what the location was, I think, but I don't know much about it. So let's go ahead and dive into the video, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and let's go ahead and dive into this thing. I'll give you guys my thoughts during and after the video. Also, I'll be pausing it quite a few times to give my own personal thoughts. So just keep that in mind when you dive into this reaction. Remember, all I can be is honest with you guys. If there's something I disagree with, I'll be honest about it. Just keep that in mind before you, you, you know, start hammering me down with, with negative comments. I, I can understand them, but at the same time, this is also my channel. So let me be honest about my personal opinions. Let's do this. Oh, that's big as shit. The abandoned so Whoa! That screams hard. Yeah, it does. What's up, guys? It's Sam McColby. Today we are here with Chris and Toledo! Yeah. The infamously haunted Kreischer Mansion, which is home to an unsolved murder mystery, which tonight we're going to be attempting to solve. Oh, we're going to solve this okay. mystery like Scooby fucking do. Scooby Gang! Oh, yeah. Scooby Gang. Gang, gang. Scooby Gang. A man by the name of Edward Kreischer was murdered over a hundred years ago, and to this day, we still don't know why. And it's also rumored that there are portals that have been opened. And look at that house for a minute. Can we just, like, take a moment to look at how unsettling that house looks? That's... That's <laughs> that. Oh, dude, look at look up here. Is that like an area where it's like almost like a balcony where you can look out and just see the see the yard and everything? That's freaky looking. It's old. You can tell. She might be the first time I'm actually actually just hearing about this location. So I'm pretty excited to actually get a, finally a new place, right? And cannot be closed due to a recent mafia murder in 2005. Lots of deaths happened here. Super scary place. We're going to solve this mystery at the inside. Four people walk by the door. Before we took the tour of the place, we had to walk in to see the areas that we were allowed to go and mm -hmm. not allowed to go. And I went in with CJ and our guide over here. Yeah. And that means there's only three people. But apparently, Colby, Selena, saw a fourth person following CJ. Yeah, no, so clearly One, too. Two, three, and four. It's like you guys walked in a line and they just followed you like they were supposed to be with you. Wow, that's pretty crazy. It I was for sure there was like another person in the group. No fucking way they actually caught that on camera. They actually caught this. That's a big dude. <laughs> That's a big dude. Oh my God. Clearly just looks like a normal guy. But for some reason, like he's just like completely like shadowed here. Like up, up towards the top. Fuck that dude. It's already happening. Right? We're not even like. We're not even that far into the video, and it's already happening. We're already catching, like, full-on, full-lengthy shadow figures. Dude, that's that's crazy that they caught that on camera. I was I was like, okay, they caught they, they, All right, they saw somebody, right? That's pretty creepy. Now it's like they actually caught it on camera. Fuck that. that. I was for sure there was, like, another person in the group. The sun hasn't even gone down yet. And I, well, I was too busy home. looking at the top of the head. Wait, I've never seen a full person like that, though, before. You actually no, saw I, it. I, there was a fourth yeah, person. Yeah, it was just like, oh, yeah, the girl. Like, she didn't even say anything. Yeah, I, I wasn't even freaking out about it. Wow. I swear. Yeah, it was wild. So yeah, it was just like, yeah, like, you didn't even realize. Wow. <laughs> Also happy to say that this video is sponsored by Hot Topic. So all the clothes that you see Sam and I wearing this entire video is from Hot Topic for their Halloween collection. We have been modeling their Halloween collection, which is live right now. Click the link in the description and check us out. We might be at your local store. So if we are, check out the collection and take a picture of our face if you see us. Hope you like their new stuff. Now let's go get freaking spooky. Wait, wait, wait. What does CM stand for? Chris. Call me. Chris. Oh, okay, it's all about Chris. I see a hairy man. You guys see that hairy man? What did you take? There's a fucking hairy man over there. Oh my god, this I see. It. I see it. Oh, god damn. Go get the haunts, dude. Please first. Oh, Chris, why am I always the first one? Oh my god. It's beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, there's an upstairs. Oh my god. I'd, I'd assume so. Who the hell is it getting? Panther! Meow, 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 meow. 
Can you I think that's a under? mountain lion. Yeah. <laughs> Selena's gonna take that hole. Yeah. In 1835, there was a massive fire in New York that burnt down hundreds of wooden buildings. This guy named Balthasar Kreischer came into town and built a brick company to rebuild New York City. Bulbasaur Kreischer? Bulbasaur? This obviously Bulbasaur? made him extremely... Bulbasaur being my favorite Pokemon of all time, and then Gengar's my second. Gengar? Okay. Wealthy. Didn't want her to he had seven kids, and right before he died, he made two massive identical mansions, put them right next to each other for his two sons, Edward and Charles. Only one of them is left standing today, which is Charles Kreischer's mansion, the place that we're investigating. And after Balthazar died, he split his fortune among his seven children equally. Then his three sons, George, Charles, and Edward, ran the brick company. But because of financial struggles, as well as a factory fire, it didn't go too well. The Kreischer Brick Shit. Factory, that's where uh, Balthazar worked. The Kreischer. That is the sons. How far away was the Brick Factory from here? The uh, Brick Factory was right across the street. There was three mansions. Sorry, I don't mean to pause it every 10 seconds, but I just feel like the name Balthazar automatically just sounds like a sorcerer. I swear to God, I've heard that name in like a movie before. Balthazar had one that was on the back hill. He built this one for one of his sons, Charles, and then right next door was Edwards. Whoa, there they are. Oh, okay, so this is the one we're in, and then this one burned down. That's the one that burned down. Uh, we still later don't know a whole lot about this place. Yeah, coming in raw. Yeah, we're coming in raw. <laughs> you can see the two mansions here. This was Charles, that was Edwards. So basically, they built these on the hills so they could actually watch the factory and so edward would have been murdered like in this forest back here it was between the factory and the houses so somewhere right in here unfortunately this story ends with a mysterious tragedy on june 8th 1894 edward crasher was thought to be murdered in the woods behind the brick factory after this the company never recovered and the mystery was left unsolved look at these beautiful stairs. interesting the first thing they told us when we walked out of the property is that this place is hundreds of years old the top can't really explain really that huh rickety. And so we shouldn't jump on three. One, two. <laughs> no. Okay, we're not gonna add me to that. Okay, I got stop. Itty bitty bedroom. Oh, look at this. It's a little small bed. Oh my god, can we sleep uh, over here, dude? Yeah, let's do it, eh? You brought that light, didn't you? I did bring a UV light. Should we see if somebody so just on Edward's bed? What? Oh, this is the parlor room. You get some weird vibes here? Yeah. Well, what's weird is if this really is the parlor room, this is where Charles held all the seances. <laughs> What have they found? Oh god, what's this going on? Oh my god! Oh, oh, this this came everywhere. Someone yeah. came everywhere. Oh my god. Oh, they so actually did we're it. We're not having a slumber party. Absolutely. What is that? that more, more fluids, more fun. More, more fluids, more, more fun. More fluids, more fun. <laughs> <laughs> New merch line? Would you buy it? It's oh my god. No, no, no. What? No, 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 no. Oh my god! Oh no! What the fuck? What? This is not what? cool. Nightmare fuel? Why would they do this? Why would they do this? Taping babies to the wall. God. I guess my childhood womb. <laughs> really? What are you doing? Oh, well, yeah, what, what are you doing? I just like experimented with Barbies a little bit. Experimented? By hanging them the <laughs> face on that. This is not okay. Oh, wait, look at this guy's eye. I like the moon Oh my god! Jeez, Looks like Colby's eyes. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like a start of a country song, right? <laughs> what the heck? You not heard that TikTok What the heck? What? No. Wow. We'll play it right here. Oh, Dude, I swear heck? to God. That's why we've been doing it the whole time. I swear to God, every, every haunted house has a doll room. Almost every single, because they know. They just know that someone's going to think one of them dolls are, like, possessed. Or, like, one of those, like, a portal or something. If you think we just like yeah um, i think just you're like kind of a little bit weird yeah, weird that's what it is what are you doing uh are you kissing it said you experimented with barbie then. no no dude wait where does that lead to down to the dark oh and there's another floor oh shit what wow look at how majestic this looks <laughs> i can see the scary man out there <laughs> you're gonna fucking go blind bro whoa she's becoming transparent oh uh, oh it's magic dude yeah, they have dude, not laid off the jokes the once yet book of how, spells. how far are we in seven Yo minutes spell. wait what what is this thing <gasps> Whoa. This is freaking cool. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, oh my can god. You be our test subject? Jump, 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 jump. Whoa, it's actually so beautiful out here. Wow. Whoa, whoa. 
was so from the picture that he just showed i think the factory would have been what right here right over there would be the factory edward's house would have been right there over there dizzy very 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 dizzy i was worried he was getting close to that i was just like this yeah like stay really close. bad vertigo stay close after a few more minutes uh dizziness just got worse for chris dizzy I should just sit down for a second. You can? Oh. Yeah. That yeah. happens sometimes when she goes stuff. Yeah. She gets dizzy. Or she'll, like, get really hot early. Or was it the, the heights, like, seeing, like, the mm. depth of that? Uh, vertigo or something? I don't know. I don't heights know. have never bugged you before. No, no, I'm not, like, afraid of heights. I don't get vertigo really easily. It's also super hot. So it maybe, is. Maybe we can go hot. downstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go downstairs. Heat rises. I learned that in science class. That's it good, does. dude. A okay. plus, buddy. Thanks. After Balthasar died, this is where things got hectic. The three sons, Charles, Edward, and George, controlled the brick company together. But after many arguments and strained financial problems, George pushed Charles out of the company to oh, co-own it with Edward. Charles Dude, went to a rival. I thought for a second he was gonna say he pushed him off the building or something like that. Brick company, and with tensions high, Edward and George's relationship reached a boiling point. It was pretty obvious to everyone that the brothers did not get along. So here's where things get interesting. On June 8th, 1894, a local boy found Edward's body by the woods with a gunshot wound to his temple. The strange part is the reports of Edward that morning said he was in a very happy mood. He was talking to employees, and up until that point, Edward had a great family life. So this led most people to believe that Edward was murdered. Uh, more than I likely. I'm from the Chrysler Mansion. I am the main caretaker. I'm CJ. I'm Rick's right hand man. Kind of Ooh. like his assistant. Charles well. was nice to meet you guys uh here's my theory on the situation this is just to give a little idea of what i think uh what probably happened it's obviously i think it was a murder uh, if, if it was a suicide um the gun would have been found next to the body and they haven't mentioned that the gun was found next to the body they just found said that he had a bullet wound to the temple so i'm assuming that whoever shot him took the gun and probably threw it in the river or something like that probably something along those lines if i had to guess would his brother have done something that severe I mean, we've heard crazier stories, but, you know, of course, watching Sam McColby and learning the history, we've heard crazy stories, crazier stories about, like, brothers killing each other, so it wouldn't be that surprising, but that's unfortunate, man, that really is, that really is, seemed like a, didn't seem like a bad guy, he even said he was a good family man and everything, it's unfortunate, let's go here, let's go ahead and listen to the caretakers, I don't mean to pause it every five seconds, I know this is gonna piss off a lot of people, but I find it more easy to pause it, and then to talk, because a lot of people get pissed off when they can't hear my voice, and this is the best way to hear my voice, is when the video is paused, Doing seances right in this room. Oh, we were wrong about that. Oh. So he was Selena doing seances. Was feeling like it was in there before off camera. He was <laughs> trying to reach Edward. It was back in the 1800s, seances and Ouija boards were a very big thing. Because they're not big at all anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Only weirdos do things like that, yeah. right? <laughs> Many people believe these seances opened a portal. That is a portal. I was going to say, it's facing a little bit. It wasn't a portal. It's a god dang. Oh, you're right. I you're know. Right. I know. It's a mirror. It's a mirror, and this is a giant antique mirror. And there's like little handprints. Are those two handprints or am I tripping? There are many suspects of who could have killed Edward, but here are the ones that most likely would have done it. Let's start with George Kreischer, the brother who co-owned the brick company yep. and made all the decisions. He was known to be really hard to work with and was also a major hothead. He might have killed Edward to consolidate total control over the brick company. <clears throat> or could have... What was that? Oh, that was upstairs. Is George... A suspect? Yeah, that yeah, might be. Yeah, what is that? What is that? Well, I, I that rolling above I, us? That's like a third time I've heard it since we've been doing this. Is there like, is that pipes or what is that? No, I don't know what that was. Or it could have been Charles Crusher who's now in a rival brick company in the town. He may have resented George and Edward for kicking him out of the company, and in a moment of rage, killed his brother out of jealousy. He was also seen arguing with Edward the days leading up to his death. And then there's Frida, Edward's wife. It was rumored that she was having an affair with a local doctor and Edward found out. She might have killed him just to cover up her tracks. And finally, we have this local doctor. This is the same doctor that went to the mansion to pronounce Edward dead. The catch to the whole thing is, the doctor that pronounced Edward dead, Edward's widow married him six months after Edward died. That's what I was about to say. So maybe the wife killed him, and then the doctor was like, he's dead. And they've kind of put this, thing, this plan together. That's a good possibility, too. Okay, so the doctor was the one that she was having an affair with. Oh, oh, gotcha. Oh, gotcha. So maybe there was an affair going on? Mm. Uh, mm. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> Lots of <laughs> motives going on here. He would have killed Edward out of jealousy and love for Frida. What happened to Edward, in your opinion? The doctor did it. Really? Oh, Whoa. Really? Well, I had it done. 
Now this case has remained cold for over a hundred years, and the only people to warm it up again are Sam and Colby. <laughs> We noticed Krista and Selena were acting a little yeah, strange. Some feeling some stuff? Some weird shit. Yeah, like, some weird stuff happened yeah. since we started yeah, doing yeah. this. Really? Like, yeah. I didn't explain it yeah. earlier. Yeah, uh, maybe later. Yeah, I'm piecing together something. <laughs> Not what I thought it would be, but I'm piecing together something. Yeah. Oh, God. So when you brought us in there to go to the couch, Chris comes in and she's just like... <laughs> and she's like, you will not believe what I just heard. I'll be you, because I saw you standing here. Yeah, act this out. I was just like standing here looking at the photos and I hear, this way. I literally went, Selena, and I turned around and I was like, oh, oh. And then I looked in the room and I saw Selena. And I like went over oh and you were God. talking to them. So I was like, okay. She comes in her face and her face is just like... I know, and it sounded like it was up here. Like I was no. standing right there, and it sounded like somebody was over here and was like, "This way." Her face. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, "No." No, thank so, you. Yeah, no, then, thank you. Selena, you that's can, like, go back and listen. Nope. Nope. This is a portal. That's a portal. This oh no, dude. Oh god. Oh my god. That is so unsettling. By the stairs, someone saying this way. Okay. It's it's not that. We out. There's also as soon as we mirror. walked in, you guys were off doing something, and she's like, "This one's a portal." There's a missing mirror. I don't know why, but there's just I know there's a missing mirror. The feeling coming off this is very different compared to that. And not to mention, during the entire interview, there were some noises rolling around upstairs. I so. genuinely thought that there was a worker inside rolling and scratching and yeah, working like, with right. Yeah, like it sounded like somebody was doing this behind the wall. Mm. Yeah. Something's like rolling something mm -hmm. upstairs. This place is already so active and it's not even nighttime yet. No, I know. I'm scared. I can't believe I already saw like my first. I that know, was my first so person. Exciting. And she heard her. She saw and, her. She yeah. heard her. She's like made herself really known, so we gotta like figure out who in that is. room. Who is that? Well, the ghost was actually a guy. That was by far 100 percent a guy. The one that they saw earlier. No, that's in the wall. You don't think it's a mouse? It no, no, no. It's no, like no, this. No, no, no. No, it sounds like. It's it sounds Did like big. No, no thunder. No, it, no, it's it's upstairs and like in the wall. Dude, like, something so is rolling or like, it sounds like thunder upstairs. Like it's like a piece of furniture getting dragged yes, like yeah, on the walls like. right here. That's creepy. The unwanted Recently, spirit. Recently, there's been a new entity spotted walking around the grounds called. The hairy man. And according to psychics, the Chrysler's do not want this negative entity to enter the house. <clears throat> not much is known about the intentions of this hairy man, but recently the caretaker's nephew, CJ, captured the entity on camera. I shot like a little video, and then in the corner of the video, you just see a big figure that's had to be maybe about anywhere between, I want to say six foot to six five figure, with its arm up, and then it just comes down, turns, and walks and fades right away into the woods. Show us. Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? What do you think that is? Yeah. Like the hairy man? I think it's the hairy man. Psychics. That's a big motherfucker. <laughs> That's a big guy, dude. Oh my god. Uh, I, I don't know if it's a ghost. Then again, it might be. It might be because I was about to say because I've never seen a ghost move like that. But if there was nobody else in that house earlier, like the fourth person that walked down the hallway, and that's how clear it was, that might be a ghost. That might be an entity. I'm <laughs> getting chills, man. And the way it just walks off, like it just is standing there, and he's like, "All right, it's my cue to walk away," and he just walks away. I don't know. I don't know. That's a big guy though, and it looks like he might be wearing a jacket, like an old jacket. Holy shit. This place, if it's catching, like, entities that clearly, dude, this place is just one of the most haunted places, maybe, um, that I've seen, just ever investigated. Because I I've, I don't recall ever seeing this many shadow figures and this many beings just walking around. We on Skinwalker Ranch? What the hell? 
What do you think that is? Yeah. Like the hairy man? I think it's the hairy man. Psychics have came in and said he was always so tall and so big. Is this a recurring character that you see? Oh yeah, 100%. The hairy man, he's, every time we do an investigation, we always catch like his voice, like a dark raspy voice. Yeah, we've been told, we've been told by psychics and stuff, they won't let him in the, the spirit in the house. Mm -hmm. They're keeping him outside. Hmm. Who's that? We've been told Bowser's off, there's a room over the house. Yeah, the he's like, the family is yeah, making sure like that. that he doesn't get in? Yeah. yeah. That is something. Today, the basement is known as the most active area of the house, with a black mass appearing often. Supposedly, this is not part of the Crasher family. So who is it? Time to go to the basement. Here we go. I don't like basements. <laughs> okay, you want to go down here alone then? Yeah, I usually switch the lights off. I'll just stay down there. What's up? See what grabs See what grabs me? Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> Whoa! Mm -hmm. I love this smell. Me too. It's like comforting. Really? Yeah, it's it like, like mildew mold. <laughs> That's comforting? It's not yet. Yeah. It's like it's a natural like hot, you know? <laughs> For a long time, this mansion sat abandoned, but in recent years, it was used as a restaurant where mafia members would secretly hold meetings. A guy named Robert McKelvey unfortunately owed money to the Bonanno family, which was part of the mafia. Rob was this shady character with a loud mouth. Not that many people liked him, but he mm. went around town bragging that this mafia family wasn't trying too hard to get their money back. So the Bonanno family placed a hit on Rob due to this disrespect. The caretaker here at the Kreischer Mansion, Joe Black, was also a hitman. He lured Rob robbed the house on March 29th, 2005. When Rob arrived to the mansion, Joe Black jumped out and stabbed him and there was a big struggle. Rob was trying to run for his life, but Joe Black caught up to him in the front yard and drowned him in the pool. I knew Rob. Mm -hmm. I grew up with Rob. Oh, whoa. What? Whoa. Oh, okay, what? whoa. Sorry, Holy shit. We hung, out, we hung out in the same school yard. Oh, damn, okay. What? So it was really weird that I wound up being the caretaker. Wow. I, the water drain. Robert oh Kelly, God, uh, dude! The mob family—they murdered him. Yeah. That's crazy. Someone was down here. Someone was up in the hallway upstairs. Then he ran outside. They tackled him. There used to be a pond right outside. I was here trying to talk to Rob. Mm -hmm. First, they caught a figure next to me. Then we caught a figure that moved on top of me. Was trying to get out. We matched that up with our audio tape over there, and you heard screaming and struggling, like it was a reenactment. It was like hell, help, help oh, me. Man. Oh man, that's horrible. Jesus. Where was his body found? Uh, no, that's just the light bulb. Yeah, it's not Rob. Mm, might be Rob. <laughs> <laughs> the messed up part about this story is he didn't have the right tools to cut up the body, so he casually went to Home Depot and even stopped at Dunkin' Donuts before going back. He then cut up Rob's body into small pieces and stuffed it in a furnace, which was in the basement. His spirit is now known to haunt the mansion and pester the guests who come and investigate. They cut up a lot of the body parts and stuff like that. New furnace was coming in. It was planned to happen before the furnace went out, and they burned yeah. a lot of body parts in the furnace. The furnace was out a few weeks after that. Oh, Come on. oh, oh Come on. my yeah. God. What the, hell what is the that? fuck? What the hell? So he's Dude. in the walls of this house. He's in everything. Sorry. Uh, that's why you don't fuck with the mafia. You never do it. But yeah, just don't, never fuck with the mafia. That's the uh, the moral of the story. They they will don't don't take them lightly. They will fucking get you for it. Um, and that's crazy. Yeah, I almost couldn't even register that myself. The fact that he knew the guy. This took place in two thousand five though, when he when he got when he killed Rob. Right? Yeah, but that's that's what they said. The murder was two thousand five. That was like perfect time. That was me, sir. Was he like hard to deal with? Like, was he well respected, liked? As a yeah, person? yeah, he was fine. He, 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 but he was he was strong. He was like a he was strong. Is he like a little guy? He wasn't that big. Stop. How do you know that, Selena? We picked up a black mass once on tape coming up, going through that wall right over there, hit right through the wall and right back down the other side. Tell me about that one time with your ex-partner. Came into the basement to get something and that room right over there, he said he like turned to like walk into the room and he says the moment he turned there, like this big like black thing, he black just like- mass. Yeah, right, it just like walked into him. He, I remember- Whoa. That was footsteps. Hello? That's, that's, right, where, that's right from where I came. You were just talking Whoa, about this. Just talking about, this just talking about it right there. Connected to you, guys. you said it was this room to the right? Yeah. That really creepy yeah. ass room? Yeah, that so one? Yeah? Yeah. Right right oh my god. We're starting on the top. There's a female presence on the third floor. Are you ready to start the investigation? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was oh my so god! Perfect. 
Dude, what are Selena you looking at? Oh, looks so uh, serious. This yeah. is probably the most active place I've ever been in my life. She saw, um, oh, I saw his name. He, the short guy. Wait, wait, the short guy. So yeah. you saw so Rob? He was talking. Yeah. Say this is where his face ended. He was like, this is him. Oh, like the goddamn insidious thing? Flickering in and out. The way that I'm saying things in here, like I haven't really. They're really making themselves. No, like no, in, in my in my life. Usually it's in my mind's eye. Mm. But it's. And we, even you are seeing yeah. something. We saw stuff, we've been hearing stuff. That's scary in itself. Perfect time to investigate. <laughs> Shit's getting real, folks. I, I don't even, I don't even know what to say. Top because this is said to be. So sorry. Are you okay? Was that a demon? <laughs> that, it was a demon. Oh! I almost threw myself off that thing. That's pretty good. Wait, that was perfect. This is where you kind of had some vertigo. Yeah. Dizziness yeah. Issues. Got super dizzy up here and super dizzy again. So you're already feeling that again? Yeah. Yeah. While well, I was sitting down on the chair. It was a good place. To oh my gosh, that just blinked right when I pointed at it. We got two flashlights right here. Next Boom. One. This one seems to want to talk. Do you recognize us from earlier? If so, can you turn that? Okay. Whoa. <laughs> well, this is where the female energy would have been, and you heard this way. And it's affecting you the most right here. If there's something that likes us here, wants to communicate tonight, can you please give us a very obvious sign? Either use these flashlights, or like you were earlier, can make something move. Boom. I just want to ask you one more question, if you could turn that off, please. Thank Boom. you. Boom. Hey. That's insane. I don't know. Never used that. No. Never. No, you really don't. Earlier, Chris and Selena were feeling a female energy. If you're female, can you confirm that by touching this blue flashlight here on the windowsill? Is this a male spirit? Can you go up to this little blue flashlight and tap it once and it'll turn on? I know. So much. And then as soon as we ask if it's a female or male. Know. What if it's not either? What if it's just demon? <laughs> yeah, you know, just because you ever... sing it doesn't make it oh. better. It okay? makes it like it makes it sound better. It's softer. Okay. Is this a non-human entity? Oh! oh! Why wow. did you ask that? It was it's because I felt like Why did you ask because that? Because it didn't, it didn't Why do you feel... always do this? Like, it didn't feel like it was ever a that person. That doesn't make any sense, though, Here's the because... Thing. No. The hairy man that they talk about, I don't think was ever a man. Boom. Well, he's not allowed in the house, so how would he be talking? Saying. That's true. Unless he got mm -hmm. into the house. Himself more outside, but he Did can't the hairy man follow us here inside? Ooh. <laughs> I thought the Chrysler's were supposed to protect it. I mean, yeah. There is so much energy going on here. Sometimes old energy isn't as strong as new energy. And it just seems like there are so many different timelines and storylines that are consistently running throughout this house mm -hmm. that they can't keep control of all of them at all the same time. Especially mm -hmm. some of them are residual and some of them are like intelligent. It is weird because maybe throughout the house there's areas that are protected, but especially here, mm -hmm. you were feeling almost like knocked off your feet. Yeah, she came in and she was like, it felt like, like, like I've never seen her on set. Like, Chris is a fucking rock. I've never seen her on set. She she's like, I gotta sit down. I have to sit down. Yeah. So maybe it's just just this area, just this maybe. widow's peak that, like, he can access. And he's also right maybe. by the window. Are you familiar with the murders and or the mafia murder of 2005 that happened here at the mansion? Maybe completely on. Oh, no. maybe just ask specifically either the 2005 or 1894. Does whoever we're talking to here know anything about the murder of Edward Kreischer? It happened in 1894. There's a lot of suspects, and we're just trying to figure out who did it. If you could help us, have you ever heard about that murder? Oh, oh, so what walking. was that? Are there multiple spirits here in this house? Yes, instantly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, and I know this is probably gonna get me some hate, which is fine. I'm not I'm not here to impress anybody, I'm just here to give my honest opinions. I'm not a big fan of the flashlight method. Ever been a massive fan of a simple flashlight technique. I've just it's not for me. If I start doing paranormal investigations, you will not probably see that on my channel ever. Like I I mean we could be talking to multiple people too, right? Like there's like seven people here. Yeah. Boom. Seven. Yeah, I don't know why, I just don't vibe well up here for some reason. I mean, it knocked downstairs. Yeah, I think we should go downstairs to wherever that is, because also on the second floor, that's where Frida, one of the suspects, and another female energy is said to reside. If there's multiple things, and our main job here is to solve the mystery, yes. then well, let's go talk to Frida, because she would know what happened, because she was there. Okay, sounds All right. Thank you so sounds much like for a talking plan. with us. If you want to give us any more information later tonight, feel free to continue talking with us. We're trying to solve this mystery. We 
initially came up here. Oh my God, Sam! The music the is intense. Is he in there? Oh, yeah, he's just no, standing in the God. fucking he's corner. Like a psycho standing in the dark. Why'd you come towards this room? It's like a hum of electricity, like a hum of energy, and it's in here. Oh, you and it pointed. Was like, here, like, hmm. She literally sat in the middle of the room. She's like, can you feel it? She's like, it's like. And the second floor, what's the best rooms to go to? Our room and the, the green room. The green room. Yeah, the room straight room. across yeah. that we're talking about. Okay, yeah. those two. Wow, you called that. It's weird that to me, you guys don't hear it. Because it's an audible talk over it. It's an audible thing. Let's be quiet for like three seconds, see if we can hear it. Like you hear like easy like right now. It's like it's like it's a own channel. Like over here, nothing, 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 no nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, really? mm. Like a human stud finder. Mm. A human well, stud finder. Maybe. Maybe. I'm fucking crazy. Well, we know that. We're yeah. all fucking crazy. Exactly. Like and subscribe. <laughs> This is the envoy for the people that don't know. Basically, it goes from yes to no, and the spirits have to tap it to choose their answers. So let's turn it on and see if we can get some real answers from this female energy. This is said to be the most active room on the second floor. Yeah. Is there anybody here with us? We heard a noise down here. You can just come up to this piece of equipment and tap it. We'll know if there's somebody here. That looks yes. like yes to me. Yes. yes. Are you a female presence? Whoa. Oh, immediately? No. no. That was Just like that we got upstairs. Really yep. So is this the doctor? Frida's husband? Husband? Ooh. Or is this somebody from the Kreischer family? No. no. Have you Not been the doctor. following us around tonight? If you don't want to tell us who you are, could you just let us know if you know about the murder of Edward Kreischer? No. It could be Rob, Rob too. Oh, just that one yes, said yes. yes. Oh, oh my God. that makes sense. And who yeah. wouldn't know about he popped that? Up. Yeah. No, if they burn him in the furnace, then he's literally in the bones of the house. Do you know anything about the hairy man? I was gonna say this earlier. You know how like Selena said like he's in the walls, or Chris said he was in the walls and stuff. I was like sitting here thinking, don't you, didn't they hear like rolling inside the walls not long ago? And I was like trying to connect that, but you never know. You never know, guys. No. When they saw him, it was like he was reenacting his own death. Yeah. I think that's all he knows. So are you alone? No. 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 So but is not alone with us. Do you see any other spirits here? Any other ghosts or anything along those lines? No. So he's not alone because we're here, but he can't see any other spirits. He doesn't know the portal or anything like that. Right. On his own timeline. Let's see if this is really. Rob, did a man named Joe Black? Yes. Oh my god. 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 Wow. What do we want to find right. out from Rob? I feel like if we're still trying to solve this murder mystery, we should go try to find somebody that knows the Kreischers. We should ask him to, like, get. Like, is he stuck? Can you like, leave and let somebody else come through? There we go. Yeah, are you stuck here, Rob? Are you able to leave? Yes. 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 Stuck. Okay. okay. Stuck. Yeah. So at least we know that people are stuck here in the yeah. house. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Sorry you're stuck here, and I'm sorry what happened to you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know what else to say to him. Did what? you guys hear that? No, what happened? That closet right there is known to have little child spirits. Did a little you, did boy. Did you hear that? It sounded like three people were talking. How did you all not hear I that? I did not hear that. I was like, I was like, shut the fuck up. I was gonna hear that. That was so weird. You've been hearing I'm young scared. people talking. I know. Wait, wait, wait. You Did you hear that? Yeah. There's a massive footstep behind us. Really? Let's talk. Double tap. Many people hear the spirits of little children running around, specifically a boy named Henry. He's seen mainly running around in the front, but he's also known to be in the second floor closet. This is the creepiest room of all time with all the I know why. Oh, Wait. what? Creepiest room of all time and possibly Henry? Whoa! Figure out who's talking in here. Sam, you want to go to the bar? Yeah. This might be Henry or Frida, but there's a lot of kids that say they get trapped in the closet here. Okay. So. Aw. That's unfortunate. You're, like, good at talking. They have to get trapped. Well, you're good at talking, and you we feel could, pretty. Put, like, on here, and we could just stand. Oh. Okay, the REM pod just went off. Yeah. Okay, start asking questions. We heard some, some voices in here. By chance, is Frida in here with us? Is there any female spirits in here with us? There are, you can go and touch that REM pod. New piece of equipment, doesn't have batteries. I gotta get batteries. Door shut. Right back, Colby. Okay. Oops, sorry. 
That's all he has to say is, oops, sorry. I literally saw a woman. Oh, I'm white. Literally just saw a woman in the beginning and he's like, sorry. What? What was that? Oh, like a footstep right there. It sounded like there was a couple kids in here before. If there is, you can go touch the machine in the room. So a nice little black circle with a red light on top. <sighs> That's nice. it. That's exactly what you need Great to touch. Job. Guys, it sounds like something is right in this room over here. Unless that's their footsteps. Sam? Hello? Okay. Do you like all the dolls on the wall? I do not like all the dolls on the wall, because I don't. No, I don't either. Spooky, spooky, spooky. spooky. So this is a new piece of equipment. It's a 360 degree motion sensor, as well as a REM pod. So it gets really close. That's the oh. REM pod going off. Then, that's why it's picking up motion on your side. Over here. So the white lights are motion. Yeah. Okay, so we just have to stand still. Do you still feel it? Like how you heard it? It it was it sounded like it was like little kids. Like they were like here, like listening into us. Like they were like, oh, what did you do? oh no, 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 no. trying to play, play a prank on us almost. The best way to mess with, mess with us is hit that that fuck. We're both standing still right now. This <laughs> nice, goes off. dude. It's not us. I heard it's some on noise point. while we were gone. It sounded like footsteps. If there's somebody in the room with us, could you make this piece of equipment in front of us go off? You can walk around it or come up and touch that big antenna in front of you. You just want to sit here at the table. We'll know you're here. I must... moved my arms. Did you move? Okay. I'll stay still. That was oh. not me, though. I think they know we're trying think to do like, a serious investigation. And we're trying to like solve something, and yeah. they're just like, let's like screw with them. So they're just that's, what it, that's what it feels like. Do you think they know anything about the murder? Yeah, if you know anything about the murder, could you go and touch the red pod? Or are you too scared to say? Can you walk around this table right now? But we we know you're here. Yeah, I feel like a little kid would probably be a little bit um probably trying to avoid that conversation i mean if ever you know they ever saw something they probably wouldn't want to say <clears throat> you know i'm just just my 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 own personal theory i they probably just are too afraid of that kind of stuff even if they are like deceased maybe they don't know it and they're afraid that maybe something will happen to them if they talk about the murder you never know I've actually, we've been to like several haunted locations to where people are actually afraid, the spirits are afraid to even mention anything because the, apparently the spirit of the person who committed such acts is in the house and they actually refuse to let anybody talk about it. And they, they you know, they hold their, they hold their spirits in like the grasps of their hands and they won't let them leave. They won't let them do anything because they're afraid once they, once they start talking, that could ruin the whoever's reputation in the living world, right? Someone here know Charles Kreischer? If so, can you come? Why is that breeze coming in here? Yeah, right? Like cool. a cold breeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like there's like a... If there were spirits here, where mm -hmm. would they walk, right? They yeah. would walk here. They wouldn't touch the dresser. Right. Let's move this. Can you step away if you're part of the Kreischer family? No. I think like an associate or somebody that just work with him. Damn! Damn. I mean, he's just like real close to it. Oh, was that you? That might have been me. If you worked with Charles Kreischer, can you come up to this table? Okay. Oh, okay. Chris heard you talking earlier. Did you hear something? For me, it was just all humming. humming. That humming, which you heard. Yeah, you heard well, it. I did, I did. It was more of like a ring. It was like tinnitus. If you think Charles is innocent, he did not kill his brother. Can you come up to this device? If you just have zero idea who could have murdered him, could you come up to the table and let us know? We understand. I know a lot of people don't know. Are there secrets in this room? Is this where some bad things happen that shouldn't have happened? Did you make love in here? The fuck was that? Yeah, what was that? I don't know. If you listen really quietly, can you hear them? There's something about the Murphy Sam and Colby. If you are not alone and there's other members of the family here, can you go up to the table? So we know that because it said, what, like seven upstairs or something? What was that? It's creaked. Frida? Are you here? Oh my god. Do you know if there's members of the Kreischer family that haunt this house? If so, can you come up to the table so this goes off? 
So he doesn't know anything about the murder, but he's not alone. So there might be a boom confirmed. Selena started having a weird feeling about what happened here. Not a psychic, not a medium, but I do this thing where I kind of like disconnect. I see different points in time. I see like the pictures okay. and stuff in my head, and I see it like a movie in my head. He found out, right? Okay. Oh, but about, he found out that she had been working with the doctor, and they're like, oh, we have to like find a way for him to die, so we won't know. So she had been like low grade poisoning for a while, but like it didn't work. He ended up finding out about the affair, and then he kind of went to both of them. He's like, I'm gonna like blah blah blah, but it didn't, it didn't work out. In my head, he wrote a note. Put it in his pocket. Okay, right. And I'm going to say in this note that if I was murdered, it was him. I think we should go try to contact Charles and or Edward directly. Wow. Charles or Edward and still like... I that's crazy. Her ability, dude, is like... I remember when she told that story at that... I think it was like a hotel or something. And um, there's that story about how the guy was murdered and everything and like the horse carriage and whatnot. Or like, I can't remember what necessarily happened in, in like this, this horse stall. But something happened, and she completely described everything that was going on, and it was pretty intense. I was like, holy shit, that is dark. The fact that she got even to the smallest of details of, like, him putting a note in his pocket about if I'm murdered, it was the doctor. I saw a physical person. Let's go see if they got anything, but I still think there's a big chance we could talk to, like, a Frida or some female presence. Hello? Hey. We just closed the door and then came in here and it smelled like perfume. Have you guys been getting anything? The last thing we said, we asked if it was Frida and then it went off. What's on your shirt? Holy shit. <laughs> what the hell, dude? I did not break that. I oh, freaking so shit. Weird. I'm going to tell that you did that. Don't tell anybody. Speaking of my shirt, it's going to be our next plan of action. Welcome to the seance room. Ding, ding, ding. If this doesn't summon Frida, I swear to God. I swear to God they watch my videos, because at this point, his oh my gods, dude, I'm always the person to call him out on oh my gods. He actually goes out of his way now to just say, oh my god, I swear to God, he probably watches. That's awesome. I swear to God, she doesn't want to talk to us. We're in the area that Charles would be doing his seances. Obviously, he didn't have any equipment back in the day when he was opening these portals. So instead of using our electrical equipment, we're going to be doing it the old-fashioned way. The writing planchette. Whatever comes to our mind, we will write out. And hopefully, through the portals around the room, we'll be able to get some answers. Do you guys okay. remember what happened in the Crescent Hotel? Yeah, it worked too well. It's scary. It was yeah. perfect. It's so scary. It's scary. It's just weird because I thought this was the living room. Spirits have no reason for one of them. Ah, uh, oh, that was weird. Oh, dude. <laughs> Going over my head. Start. Charles Kreischer, Edward Kreischer, or any of the other Kreischer family. If you'd like to talk to us or give us a sign about your life and or this murder mystery, please do so through us. And to be super transparent, we are moving it. Yeah, we have to give mm -hmm. power to this. It is just the spirits that are pushing that through our subconscious. Mm -hmm. Anyone in the Kreischer family that can give us any hint as to how Edward Kreischer was murdered. Please help us draw this here on the writing planchette. Use our strength, give us a sign. We want to tell your story. Give us a symbol, give us a letter, give us a location. Did you guys hear that? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Edward Kreischer, What's it? Charles Kreischer. What's with this music in this video? Communicate. Please give us a sign. Take a look for a second. What? It's still almost like connected. Yeah, yeah, it's, it like flows really well. If you guys see anything from this, please comment down below. Edward or Charles Kreischer, we invite you to use us to draw any clue of how Edward, you passed away. We're trying to solve this mystery. Please give us a hint. What happened? Give us some sort of clue. Seems like a Selena Dillick. Sure. Whoa! <laughs> that also connected. I see it's a man's face, and I see blood like dripping down his face. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. This seems like a nose, and this yes. is blood drip. Yes. And he's a sad. This is, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Kreischer family, Charles and Edward, give us a hint, symbol, or a letter, anything to help us understand. 
What was that? What the fuck was that? It's I don't know. Some machinery or something. If that was a sign, can you do it one more time? Well, didn't they say like there was like a water thing in the basement that could have that could be making some noise, so that might have echoed in the house a little bit. Probably that. That was loud. Let's check it out. Oh, what the? F okay, if this is what I'm thinking, what it is? If this is a head? If this? Oh is my this god! Is the head? The head? This is a gun. That's a gun. Going into the top of the oh, head. This? This? Wait! Oh, this is oh, this, this is a gun. <laughs> Was this part of your story that yeah. you guys told? Yeah. When we were up there when you guys were in the other room when you were in the bar room. We were trying to talk to the REM pod and I told her what I feel like because this whole entire time this house has been a whole bunch of different storylines going on and everyone has these ideas and these stories on what they thought happened in this house. Yeah. And this whole entire time I've been getting these bits and pieces of these stories. And then I explained it to Chris who's like, that's the same feeling that she's been having. What are you guys seeing? What I've come to understand, Edward knew. He found out that his wife had been having an affair, and for some reason I think like she had been low-key trying to kill him for a while. I don't know if it was with the help of the doctor with like a little bit of poison or something, but he put all the puzzle pieces together, okay? okay. He knew that the doctor and the wife affair was going on. He was so upset because he really loved his wife. He literally, on a piece of paper, had put something in his pocket at some point that said, if I die, this is what happened. He was so upset, he was framing the doctor for murder. But they yeah. brought him to the house. The doctor confirmed his death and he found the note. That's what I saw. That's, that's that, what she that's saw. That's a fact. No, the, the, like that is a straight Wait, fact. What's that the, a fact? What do you that mean? That the doctor was the one that stated he was dead. The Came doctor here. was the one that announced He's that Edward was dead. What? Oh, oh my god! god. No, we had Where no idea. He had his body, he was alone with his body, and I saw him checking him, and I he pulled out the piece of paper, and the piece of paper said, the notes if I am else dead, would find him, not the doctor. He went in the woods because he didn't, he wanted someone to know the doctor's the reason why he died so he went where no one would would find him yeah the doctor, the doctor got the note first. so no one ever knew he did this on purpose because he wanted it to look like a the murder doctor. he wanted to frame the doctor he wanted to the punish doctor her. finding his body you know that the murder weapon the gun was actually taken from the scene before any other public members came over so the murder weapon was never found Jesus, that's so fucking creepy that is so creepy that you saw that so did the doctor know he was being framed did somebody know this because in my whole thing the whole the entire time, the whole entire feeling, he made this look like he didn't yeah. do it. She's so connected to that kind of thing. Yeah. She knows, like, her inner body, she knows that it was, it was his choice. Like, this is what happen. I saw. I was side up. Which is insane. It's literally the same angle that's happening there. A gun going down through the <laughs> And the blood would dripping down and almost, like, matched up perfectly oh there. Oh my that's god. so fucking weird. That it's is crazy, so insane. because it doesn't matter how many times this kind of shit happens, like, it still feels so fucked up every time. Little re- it's crazy though because like some of the stuff doesn't make sense. If if it was on top of his head going down, then how did the bullet hit his temple? Because it, they said earlier that he died from a bullet wound to the temple. The temple's right here. I'm kind of confused on that. Like I guess it could have been just the angle, but the way they were saying it was like you know Selena herself who saw it was saying that it was like on the back of his head, like pointing down on him. I, I don't know. That's that's tough. That's tough. It's very interesting. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm like shocked. Like that's a pretty interesting, um, put well put together story. It would make a lot of sense, but there's still some things that make no sense. Like how he apparently went to work and was having a smile on his face. He was happy in a happy mood. He was in a good mood. He was talking to all the coworkers and stuff. If I thought that I was going to be murdered, I would not be in a happy mood. I'd be pretty damn nervous. So there's a lot of things that just don't add up about the stories, but who knows? Who knows? I'm kind of more lenient to believe. No, because if he was shot through the temple, that would have been on the records. So he was shot in the temple. I don't know. But I do believe Selena. I have no doubt about it. Cab, Frida and this doctor were having an affair. Yeah. Edward found out about this affair, yeah. was very upset, so he tried to frame the doctor for murdering him. Maybe we can continue with this and ask the other spirits because if yeah. this is happening, and especially like we said, the body was dragged to this house where the doctor would have investigated the body. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't think the doctors found him in the woods, right? No. It was like a little boy that brought him back. Yeah, but the doctor was the first person to check him out and he's the one that pronounced him dead right. here at the house right here. if there were other spirits here being able to replay the scene they, they would know it. about this thing so we can ask about this specific story and see yeah. if it's true i feel like i'm gonna throw up yeah that is, so this is wild that is insane yeah. 
hear that? I did not. The card Ask ritual. The father. Or is that rolling? No, that's is that the rolling? That's the same rolling noise. What the fuck? The, it, it's so like inconsistent. Like it's not like and it cuts different places. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is called the card game. It uses no electronic equipment, thus being able to talk to the older spirits a little bit easier. We'll be able to use the cards in order to answer yes, no, maybe an I don't know questions. Hopefully, get to the bottom of the theory. All right, we're each going to shuffle the deck once. The point of this here is so that we would have absolutely categorically <laughs> no way to plan this out. We yeah. will not know where the cards are going to be. If there's a spirit out here that wants to talk to us, they can obviously see the cards. Okay. Oops, six, six, six. Well, <laughs> that's a good number. What we're going to be doing is you guys intuitively be able to feel over the cards. The hottest card is the one the spirit wants you to choose. If the card is a heart, that means the answer is yes. If the card is a spade, the answer is no. If the card is a diamond, it's maybe, and the club is I don't know. Is there a joker? No, there's no jokers. Because okay. you're the clown. Charles and Edward, if you're talking to us, if you're the one drawing the pictures and depicting a framed murder, we want to ask a few more specific questions. First question that we have to ask, are there spirits that would like to talk to us through this game? That flushing sound again. It's the thing in the Stone. basement. Oh, it does not advance any more questions. Who are you talking to, Charles? I was just talking if there's any spirits that want to use this game. It's highly advised to not continue the game if you get an immediate spade. That's just uh, not good. Whoa. The mirror is shaking. <gasps> oh. Is there somebody in the seance room that's over there shaking the mirror? Yes. Selena and Chris presented an outcome to this unsolved murder mystery case. If you agree, let us know. Oh, it's almost like it doesn't want to Yeah, right? <laughs> it's a club, I don't know. Did Edward know about an affair between Frida and the doctor? No. Who would have known? Free Rob. Rob? Are we talking to Rob? Yeah. Maybe, no. Maybe Frida. Maybe, because she didn't know. She just didn't want to talk about it. Is this a female spirit that we're talking to? Yes. Hmm, so it could be Frida. Is this Frida? Might be. Kreischer? Yes. Uh, we're finally talking to her wow. before we ask if she had an affair. Do you think she admit to it? Probably not, Something because is. she kind of already didn't admit to it. She married that doctor a year later. I just Less remember than six months. Six months oh, later. Oh, okay. Maybe we could ask if it was a family member, Ooh. because she wouldn't want to out her brothers, right? Mm -hmm. Did Edward Kreischer die by the hand of a family member? Maybe. It's almost, mm. almost like she doesn't want to say. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a little suspicious. She's, like very, like, she's here, but she was like, oh, I'm going to keep yeah. my story to myself. Yeah, that's that's when it stopped from her starting to ask. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not I'm not 100% with the card, card uh, thing. I'm not. I'm not. I, I mean, I would prefer just to ask the questions through, like, the Estes method, which I feel like is the best way to answer these questions. Because, like, if, let's say, for example, if this method was not 100% guaranteed then then it kind of feels like it's you know false right and i don't want to like i would never want to do that i would never want to make any false stories up because now now it just feels confusing as hell we'll go ahead and continue maybe it changes my mind but this is right now i just don't know if i buy it the gritty questions upstairs play She's bunny listening. cards like it doesn't it doesn't matter like no one's gonna come for her you know like maybe we just tell her like it's safe that she can tell us Admit stuff free to kreischer is there an open portal here at the kreischer mansion Whoa. So See? Charles Seances didn't open a portal at all. Maybe it was open. Or it did, and it was closed, so whatever's mm -hmm. here is trapped. Are all the spirits that are here in the mansion trapped here? 
that's a maybe, so they might be trapped. Well, like we figured out with Rob upstairs, it seems like every spirit's doing their own thing. Yeah. Like, they're like, in their like own... Like everybody's in their own time period. Yeah. Just like going time through time. residual stuff. Yes. So they might not even know. I feel like, especially in that time period, it's like you're kind of just doing whatever your significant other is telling you to do. So I feel like she was maybe afraid. And we don't know how Edward treated her either, so... Is Edward here? Can we ask that? Edward Kreischer, can you come forward and talk to us? I don't know if he can talk or he doesn't know if he wants to talk about it. You just go for it. Edward Kreischer, did you try to frame the doctor and Frida for murder? No. Okay. So the mystery still stands. So twice, it just, it was very much he knew he did this in a way to frame the doctor. Because it would make sense that she would keep she saying no. It. Frida Kreischer, are you the only spirit here talking with us? No. Whatever spirits we're talking to tonight, is it true that Frida and the doctor were having an affair before the death of Edward Crusher? Diamond is maybe doesn't want to admit. Yeah, right. She really doesn't want to. Was Edward Crusher murdered? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god! If they're trying to keep it a secret in the afterlife, it makes sense. Like I know, right? Well, well, I mean, if it if it really wanted to keep it a secret, it would have just said no, and not I don't know, because now it just sounds like oh, now there was possibly murder. It, that's not the answer you'd want to go. You'd want to go with a no. I don't buy it. I'm sorry. I don't. I'm, this card method. It's not a bad method. It might work. I I don't know. Uh, it's something I've never seen done too many times before. But when I'm looking at it in this perspective, it doesn't really look like it's working all too well. Uh. But they're trying to make it work as best as they can because they're doing the method, right? They're trying to make sense of it, which is understandable. And I know there's going to be people in the comment section, how, how can you say that and stuff? It's like, I, I don't think every method is a, an exact science, right? I, I, I don't think they are. I, it's fun to see new theories and new methods being used, though. I'm having a fun time watching this, but I just this is just my opinion. I, it's something I probably would not use. Uh, yeah. They don't want to look and maybe it's because I believe in Selena's story so much. It makes so much sense to me that, that if... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So far, a really good episode, though. I'm really Bad enjoying history. it. Yeah. Murder. Everybody's assuming he got murdered right now. We're also, like, one of the first people to, like, document this. Maybe they're right. just like, keep your mouth shut. It's like, plead the fifth. Sounds like Frida, no matter what, is not going to give us a direct answer. Yeah. After hearing noises in the sounds room, we went back into the new, uh, with new equipment. Cool. But before that, we realized that because the mirror was shaking during this last card game, we thought that was a giant clue. And who knows if Frida is actually lying to us? So we're going to try once again in the seance room to talk to somebody of the Kreischer family, whether it be Charles, Edward himself, or Balthazar, the father. But we decided to do this in night vision. We have a new piece of equipment called the EMF rope. And that aligns with the candle circle. Okay. So if anyone enters our circle and wants to talk here, we will know that they're here. We also thought it was a good idea to use not only the obelisk, which will spit out random words, but the new piece of equipment, the Alice box, which does the same thing, so we'll get double confirmation. So we can all stare into this creepy-ass portal mirror, asking questions, and trying to get someone to enter the Ring of Fire. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> yeah, we thought this was the mirror that was shaking anyways. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully that was a sign to be like, hey, come over here, talk to me, talk to me. Talk to who? Me. <laughs> You're starting out great. Oh, oh shit. So cute. It's shiny. Oh my so God. cute. Wait, so. It's EMF. You throw your phone on to it. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Whoa. <laughs> that, that, just, that just went off right as you stepped over it. Pussy power. You can't stand right. <laughs> We're asking to talk to somebody directly from the Kreischer family, whether it be Edward, Charles. Arrived. Arrived! Wow. What the fuck? Really? Wow. Who are we talking to? Who just arrived? Or if you did just arrive, you can walk across this EMF rope into the circle and we will know you're here. Fine. Disregard. Black. Black. Joe Black. Around. Wind. Also, I asked for Exactly who I thought of. Ascend. Ascend? Ascend. Boy, I just got what? Forever. Who are we talking to? Is this somebody from the Crusher family? Groom. Groom. Wait, groom. so would that be Edward? The groom of her? Lisa. 
Lisa Caskin. Can you give us a clear Lisa. answer? Are you from the Kreischer family or not? Science. Crazy, oh, I, just, I said science not long ago, too. Oh, Something just entered the circle. I just heard the mirror shake. Yeah. Really? We're behind you? Yeah. Who are we talking to? Uh, if it's Charles, can you make the rope light up again? Oh. 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 We got Charles there. Finish. Edward, are you here with us? Could you make this rope go off? Just walk right through and we'll know you're here. Yeah. Peace. 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 I just get this feeling that even from the very, very beginning, we had something that was not a human spirit. Equation. There's more to the equation. Waves beware. Stab. What's stab? Shop. Fight. This is wrong. Whoa, That's wrong. Stab. Fight. Dude, it, that has to be I don't know if we've even talked to, besides Frida. Stand. Flower. Dude, I feel like Rob's been just following us this entire time, talk, telling his story too. John. Johnny. Who's Johnny? Unholy. Unholy! Oh, oh, unholy. unholy. Oh, oh my god! So this one said unholy and that one said unholy. Something unholy is here. Animal follow and planetary man. I mean, they did say that there was like a dark mass uh, in the yeah, basement, but, right? Yeah. And we were talking to a non human spirit at the way top. Yeah. The, Animal, the, the yeah. mountain lion that's like behind Land. him. Grind. Rob again. Rob, for sure. Yeah, yeah, mountain Rob lion! Can you give us a sign if it's Rob? That just flickered. Fall. Oh, dude, it is Rob. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Wait, it says Ed. Is that Ed? Kate. Kate. Oh, it could be. Edward. I know there's a lot of spirits in this room, but we really want to solve this mystery. Edward, can we speak to you? Kreischer family, come forward. Stretched. Stretched. Always. Surface. Feel interrupt. It's like Probably it's like interrupting. Guys. Yeah. Like, it's Nighttime. Crazy. Dude, it's Rob telling his story like, over like, them. Yeah, it's like they can't get through because he's just like, let me just say my story. And he was like, we researched. Rob was like a loud mouth. Oh, mm -hmm. cute. Cute. Selena's okay. psychic. Christmas. We have people that you can talk through here. Did you tell me your story correct? The story that I was given, was that the true story or was that something else given to me by someone who wants to tell a different narrative? Don't want you. Oh my oh, god! What the fuck? Yikes. Have you ever said a sentence Maybe? before? I've never heard Wait, that. Wait, what? Yeah, what the fuck? Maybe they didn't want Yikes. you to say what you said. Because they were like, don't bring don't us want to you. surface. I am covered in fucking yeah. goosebumps yeah. right now. Yeah. Me too. That was Do you want me to leave? Is it me? Are you I'm... mad at us? Has it ever said a sentence? I've never heard that I before. Mean... No, it usually only says one Don't word want you. It said don't want you. Right before it, it did say Get out. Yeah. yeah. Psychic, psychic, don't, don't want psychic you. was the last one on mine. Psychic, don't want you. It seems like the Crasher family doesn't want, want to even say anything, and Rob is just over here with a loud mouth being like, I'll tell you what happened to me. Yeah. Seven. That's what I said. Seven. 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 Seven
Dude, he's always missing the EMF rope. He's like, has the camera pointed at them, so no, we never see the EMF rope light up. I, I don't know if it was exactly seven, but it was a lot. Was Edward Kreischer murdered? Can anybody answer us that? Edward's the only one that knows. One thing that I'm curious most about is the fact that it said unholy twice. That was the... Already. Already. Upon. We captured earlier upstairs something that might have been unhuman. There's been recent sightings of something called the hairy man. There's... No. Shit. Good. No good. It was time for the most active part of the house. The basement. Bum, we are bum. down here in the basement known as the most active location of the Kreischer Mansion. Only looking to talk to the Kreischer family. Rob, thank you for talking to us. No longer wish to speak with you. Frida, thank you for talking with us. We no longer wish to speak to you either. If there's anybody that would like to help us out with solving the mystery of Edward Kreischer's murder, please speak with us through Selena. Is uh, someone from the Kreischer family here? Speak with us. Yo. 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 Informal, but hey, how's it going? That's awesome. What's up? Can you give us a hint of who you are? Edward? You already know. Do we though? Okay. Is it Rob? We really want to talk to Edward. Ed was the only name. Me. It's Edward. Oh, Finally. Yes. We got Edward. Thank right. you, Edward. Why would Ed but Edward? It, did they say yo back then? <laughs> that long ago? Edward. Awesome. We want to tell your story. You like that we're here? Not really. Oh well, I mean that's been very prevalent. Can you tell us about how you died? He doesn't want to. Yeah. That's so. Yeah, we do want to know. We'd, we'd really like to know how you died. Were you, in fact, murdered? Edward, we think this will help you rest in peace if you just get the peace. Wow. Selena came up with a narrative for your story. Yeah. Do you agree with Selena's narrative? She took a big sigh. I mean, it's a hard topic to talk about. They know. They know. They know. Like, we. What know. you guys guessed? We figured it out. A lot of sighs. Why do you think it's uh. so hard? Motherfuckers! Why don't you want us to know your story? It's a hard topic. That's what I mean. It's like it's really hard to talk about. Oh, look bad. Dude, it's a hard subject. It, it's a really hard. Subject. How could she? <gasps> so maybe Frida. That's a huge know. clue. Maybe she was pretending upstairs to like not know anything. Were you sad? Trust. Did you know about the affair between Frida and the doctor? Yeah, I loved. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, so this, yes. is, this is pretty accurate. Edward, then yes. This is pretty fucking you accurate. What he did. That's why it's so hard for him. Did you regret ending your life? I gave for them maybe? money. Or like I spent money on her. Maybe yeah, it's just like he's venting like, to I us. Gave everything took to vows. Her. I gave everything to her. I took vows and she still cheated on me. She made me do this awful thing that I don't even. I confronted him. Oh. Whoa. So he confronted oh. the doctor about the affair. Yeah. And then, and then that means the doctor might have actually yeah. killed him. Yes. Wait, Wait what? what? How does that come together then? Two. Is that? They even? both did it. Wait, she said two. Frida and the doctor were in on it together. I know you don't want to tell us, but we need to know. I don't matter. <laughs> oh, oh, you do matter. He built up the company and his. That's wife pretty fucking her. sad. That's pretty heartbreaking. Poor guy. He's probably been depressed this entire time. Gets killed by the fucking one person he probably trusted mo the most in the world. Ow. Cared about, yeah. still cheated, so he was like, I don't matter, fuck it, I'm yeah. gonna get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> we'll leave. I know you don't want us here. All we want Fine. is a final answer. Thank you, please. Were you murdered by the doctor? My heart. That's so With my hand. With, with my hand. So with my hand. He did it himself. That's what, I, that, that's what it, this is all sounding like. Do you regret huh. what you did? Yes, sir. Oh my Whoa. god. Oh, fucking chills. This is like really one. sad. No, it is really sad. She here? Oh, she wants to, he wants to talk to Frida. Yeah. Over and over and over again, we've gotten the fact that there's much more than just the Kreischer family here. What makes this place so haunted? Is there something else that resides here? Keep asking. Like the dark entity? Yeah, we, we specifically got something. Let it sleep. Don't Ooh. ask any more questions. Let's sleep. Cellar. We are in the cellar. We are in the cellar. Different voice, guys. There's a black mist that... Behind! Oh, shit. I don't I hate that shit. Feel it? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I mean, Dude, yeah. that's crazy. Breeze. Yeah, there, there's a black mist, a breeze that comes through the cellar. Yeah. Is that you? Ha! Yeah. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. Big like man. Oh, is that the one in the windows that, like, like showed us all the pictures of? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Watch okay. you. Watch you. Watch you. Get out. You. Okay. Run. Okay. Going on, take her out. Oh yeah, yeah, what the fuck? I don't, I don't know. Oh my god, That's no, so fucking creepy. Selena, are you good? Oh, I'm good, but that last voice was really fucked up. So, there's obviously much. 
No, they ended it, dude. I wanted more of that. That was probably, the, I'm not joking. That was the best part of the investigation right there. That was so accurate. It felt so legitimate, uh, especially with Edward, you know, saying, giving us his personal feelings and everything and how he truly felt about himself and the fact that he might have been the one just to kill himself, and which would have made sense because, and that would also make sense because if the doctor was being framed because he let left the letter in his, and he, so, you know, left the letter in his um his jacket and everything, he might have said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna go ahead and hide the gun and throw it away, get rid of the gun, right, get rid of the evidence, even if it was not me who killed him." I mean, he's trying to frame me, so it's better if I just get rid of the evidence and whatnot and all that stuff, and we'll just leave it as like an open murder. There's a lot of theories here. There's a lot of theories. That was crazy. I'm kind of shocked how good that was. That was the best part of the investigation. Much more to the story, but we did figure out this answer. So let's yes. get out of the basement yeah. because something might be yeah. here right now. Yeah. No, thanks. No. You did something. I was so sad. I don't you like literally it. did. You, you like yeah, got because it freaked me the fuck out. You go. What did you, you first? Fucking go first. What did you I see? You go. You go first. Let's fly. No, go together. Okay. We'll go together. Okay, go. <laughs> go. You're the one saying there's a fucking demon. I was, no, I did. You did. You did. And then saw no, I don't like this. It was like a like a thing. And I then don't want to go. I'm paralyzed. Go in that room. I'm like a fucking possum. You said go in that room over there. What the fuck? What did you guys see? Did someone just move? No. No. Okay, go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Yeah. What just happened? I don't know. I think we got our answer, but unfortunately, it wasn't what anyone was expecting. I think it was a lot more sad than we anticipated. Yeah, it was. At least the conclusions that we got. Edward Kreischer was not murdered, and that's pretty intense. You can All obviously right. tell that he was going through a lot. And he's very regretful. Yeah. No, yeah. just a big thank you for him to trust us with his story. Yeah. I'm sure that was like really, really, really difficult. I cared about her so much. So with that, we do want to say specifically to Edward himself, uh, thank you. The, the whole Kreischer family also, but thank you for telling us your story, being so vulnerable. I know this is very difficult. Sorry you had to go through all this. I hope that you can find peace now that you've told your story. I hope that you can find Frida. She is here. The rest of the Kreischer family is here as well. And hopefully you guys can all work together to keep this your house. We did uncover that there might be some other things coming in the house or wanting to come inside the house. Maybe not even necessarily good spirits. So hopefully you can protect yourself, work together, and become a family again. Either way, thank you for letting us into your home and talking about your story. We wish you the best. Oh, the Conjuring House is next. Got Sam and Cole, Sam crying. Oh boy, they're building up that hype for that new. Uh, apparently, people have been telling me of all about the hype for the new Conjuring video and whatnot. But this this investigation is the one we're talking about. That was pretty good. The again, the ending was actually my favorite part of this entire investigation. It was a very well handled investigation. I mean, there was a lot of humor and stuff. And you know me, I'm not like you know die hard on the humor every five seconds. And they had a lot of it, but some of the humor actually worked for me. So I'm I'll give it a little bit of leeway. Uh, but that whole ending with Edward, man, I I really feel bad. I really do. I'm feeling kind of guilty. Like, I'm not feeling guilty. I wasn't the one, you know, asking all these questions, but, like, I just feel bad that that he just, he felt he needed to take his own life at the end of the day. He, he felt like, you know, he found out that his wife, his only true love, was having an affair on him. And, you know, whether guys have hearts, too. Uh, they do. And, unfortunately, um, they can also go through heartbreak because there are good guys out there. And, unfortunately, they have to... What a shame. What a shame. Um, guys, leave a like, comment down below. Can't wait to see you in the Conjuring video investigation, and I'll check you guys out in the next one. Keep it retro. Do take care.